What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out loudest WWE crowd reactions of all time. Now, there's been a lot of instances where uh, the crowd pops for maybe a certain someone returning or someone winning a championship or you know someone uh, maybe uh, turning babyface or whatever the case may be or in certain situations uh when it comes to the money in the bank a particular person cashing in one of the greatest money in the bank cash-ins uh in my opinion is Dolph Ziggler the crowd reaction he got on that Monday Night Raw after Mania was probably the biggest reaction Dolph Ziggler has ever gotten in his career and one of the biggest reactions someone's ever gotten for a money in the bank cash in it's always good to get those crowd pops crowd reactions because you know it lets the the wrestlers know that the fans are into it it lets us at home you know kind of be into it as well it makes for the overall segment whatever segment it may be that much better when the crowd is lit and they're they're going crazy so we're gonna check out some of these uh reactions man uh from the crowd uh this is by wrestling royale uh subscribe to them recently we're gonna link the original video down below so you guys can give them a subscription and let's get right into this one WWE is big on creating moments, but great moments are always defined by the crowd's response. Mm -hmm. It's the resounding crowd reactions that etch these big moments into our memories forever. Whether it's a surprise return, a shocking mm -hmm. upset, or something more unique, here are the 10 loudest WWE crowd reactions of all time. Starting with number 10, Sami Zayn in oh, Montreal. Yeah. Oh, he, bro, that crowd was crazy. The Bloodline Saga has been WWE's wildest ride in years, and while it was all centered around the head of the table, <clears throat> Roman Reigns, the secret ingredient was bearded, goofy-faced rogue, <laughs> Sami Zayn. It culminated in a battle between Sami and Roman at the 2023 Elimination Chamber and in Sami's hometown of Montreal, Canada. Bro, oh, that crowd was so Sammy's electric. efforts were in vain and it was the tribal chief who left victorious. One thing we'll remember is the thunderous ovation mm -hmm. that Sami received when he came to the ring. It hey, that SmackDown, because they were in Montreal and SmackDown uh, before the pay-per-view was just, he stood out there for like, almost 10 minutes at the end of the show the crowd just went crazy went crazy and then at the show crowd went crazy it was it was beautiful man sammy deserves those type of moments it was good to see that being able to witness that live man it was a perfect storm of circumstances a hometown hero a beloved baby face versus the final boss heel and a personal blood feud that had been months in the making mm -hmm. number nine the dudley boys surprise this was return. a good one too In 2015, WWE's tag team division was at an all-time low. WWE tried to remedy this stale environment by injecting a dose of violence into the division. And that <laughs> violence came in the form of the legendary tag team, the Dudley Boys. The Dudleys left the WWE on bad terms in 2005, and given their success in other promotions, it mm -hmm. seemed we'd seen the last of the Dudleys in a WWE ring. But on an episode of Raw in 2015, while the Good New Day were celebrating a victory in the ring, an explosion of fireworks punctuated the yeah, return that of was Bubba Ray cool. and Devon, who arrived and laid waste to the New Day to a deafening response from the crowd. One, two, three. Yeah. Listen to that. It all ended with a sing-along so of great. Devon, get the tables. Oh. A perfect return made better by the crowd reaction. For sure. Number eight, The Rock and Hulk Hogan stand. Def definitely has to be on this list as well. That that crowd was electric. <laughs> each other oh down. man, that crowd was electric. That's a great question. We're about to find out. Chanting for The Rock in the crowd. The Look at that, man. Loud pops Goosebumps thing, inducing. But it takes a special kind of magic to elicit a vocal response for minutes <laughs> on end. At WrestleMania 18, that was exactly what The Rock and Hulk Hogan Goose managed to do. And they inducing. did it without saying a word or lifting a finger. 
The match was a genuine once in a lifetime showcase. The biggest wrestling star of all time versus the modern day face of the company. Mm -hmm. The mere visual of these two megastars squaring up has remained one of WWE's most iconic shots ever, and it's still used in video packages to this day. Yeah, but what for images sure. can't show is the roaring crowd reaction that accompanied Rock and Hogan sizing each other up. Listen to that, bro. Listen to that, man. Look at that, bro. <laughs> the crowd reaction oh. lasted several minutes. And Just that clip alone, I'm, I got goosebumps. I may not be the, the biggest fan of uh, Hulk Hogan as of late, but once again, I can respect what he's brought to the wrestling business and how he was able to really take it to that next level to, you know, get it to mainstream audiences, you know? So I got to give him respect for that. Uh, it's just goosebump inducing, bro. Like, if you don't feel nothing from this clip alone, I don't know. I, I guess you're just not a wrestling fan. I don't know. <laughs> remains a testament to the magical abilities of both Rock and Hogan. To top things off, they both held the crowd for the entire 16-minute duration of the legendary match that followed. Number 7, Rob Van Dam beats John Cena. There's no crowd. And this crowd wasn't the biggest, but it was the rowdiest because of the intimate setting. It wasn't a big venue, but it didn't need to be. The, just the intimate setting and how visceral this crowd was, it still stands the test of time as one of the wildest, rowdiest crowds of all time. And it wasn't even that big. You know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a, an arena sized stadium. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just shows the testament of how devoted the ECW fans were, man crowd like an ECW crowd. From burying wrestlers in chairs and bringing their own weapons to shows, ECW faithfuls were a different breed of wrestling fans. Yeah. They were loud and bloodthirsty, and nothing proved this like the infamous One Night Stand pay-per-view back in 2006. The main event saw ECW legend Rob Van Dam take on John Cena for the WWE Championship, and to say fans weren't kind to Cena oh, was no. putting it mildly. <laughs> Oh, it was it was all RVD. <laughs> The culmination of the match saw RVD lay out Cena with a five-star frog splash, but he couldn't pick up the win because the referee was unconscious. Cue Paul Heyman, ECW's mastermind, <laughs> coming to the ring and counting the pinfall himself. This resulted in an arena-shaking pop that put even oh WrestleMania my God, crowds bro. to shame. So great to see, man. Legendary Number moment. six, Kevin Owens and Elias's nuclear. This team. was good too. This is really good. Back in October 2018, the team of Elias and Kevin Owens drew the most deafening chorus of boos ever heard on a wrestling show when they dropped a bomb on the mm -hmm. rowdy Seattle crowd on hand. In 2008, Seattle's basketball team, the Supersonics, relocated to Oklahoma City, and it's remained something of a sore subject for Seattle sports fans ever since. Mm -hmm. Elias went straight for the throat and took a jab at the incident, and the crowd did not take it lightly. What followed was four minutes of relentless booing that was so loud, it drowned out Elias's and Kevin Owens' promo. Team left! Turn the lights back down! Keep the spotlight on me! Oh, that's some good like cheap heel heat because that that crowd was not having it <laughs> they they took that to heart that's some really good cheap uh heel heat man Listen to this that. This rare moment of nuclear heat was completely unplanned and unexpected, which is what made it so glorious. In true WWE fashion, they tried to recreate the moment the following week on Raw, but the magic had all but vanished. Mm -hmm. WWE should know by now that you can't engineer lightning in a bottle. Yeah. Number five, Triple H at Madison Square Garden. Makes sense this is on the list too. <laughs> Made sense this was on the list. 
just ridiculous. Back in May of 2001, a career-threatening quadricep injury put Triple H on the shelf for nine months. At the time, he'd been a part of the two-man power trip mm -hmm. with Stone Cold Steve Austin. But vignettes leading up to Triple H's return painted him as a heroic babyface overcoming injury to return to the sport he loved. And that's the thing. Like, as soon as he came back, he was like a, a babyface for a, a little bit because... I mean, it's hard when you put a vignette of someone overcoming an injury. I don't, and he even said it himself. He doesn't even think, he didn't think it was going to be like that. Like, I think he said he ended up, once he got to the back, he started, the, the emotions overcame him. He started breaking down in tears, which I get it. The reaction he got was probably one of the best reactions Triple H has ever gotten in his entire career. Coming out to, to that ring after nine months, a rehabilitation to have the fans go insane for you after you were a bad guy nine months prior for them to love you adoringly. And he kept a straight face. And when he got back behind the curtain, the tears start falling. I would, boy, I would have broke down because that's, that's beautiful, bro. That's that lets the wrestler know. Hey man, we're glad to you're back in the you know back in the square circle. You know that shows the appreciation. His return date was set for June 2002 in Madison Square Garden, and until the day came, no one really knew exactly how fans would react to the game's first face turn as a singles competitor. But when Triple H's music hit, the deafening response shook the That's foundations crazy. of Madison Square Garden. The game was given a hero's welcome by the energetic crowd on hand, finalizing his face turn in the most explosive way possible. Triple H might have left the company as the number one bad guy, but it proved that the hotter the heel, the better the face. Triple yep. H has spoken at length about the moment in the past, claiming that it was the first crowd reaction that ever moved him to tears. <laughs> yep, just four, said it. Number Carlito. Bro, backlash alone. That I don't I don't care what nobody say. Backlash this year is probably one of the best backlashes we've had in a long, long time, without a doubt. And that crowd, you guys out there, y'all showed up. <laughs> y'all showed up. It's still probably one of the best crowds so far for WWE. Oh my god, y'all were electric. Take me back. <laughs> Listen to that. It's been a weird few years for wrestling. Vince McMahon no longer runs the show. There's a genuine competitor to WWE's monopoly. Dominic Mysterio is one of the best characters on TV. And yeah. perhaps most shockingly of all, Ruthless Aggression star Carlito is making appearances on lists of the biggest crowd reactions in WWE. Backlash yeah. 2023 saw Damian Priest take on music megastar Bad Bunny in a street fight. And since the show took place in Puerto Rico, Fantastic. WWE brought back a number of Caribbean-based legends for the hometown pop. Savio Vega came out to a pretty big reaction, but when Carlito came out to save Bad Bunny from a Judgment Day beatdown, the whole place erupted into a frenzy of screams. It was certainly one of the most surprising appearances mm -hmm. ever, and judging by the reaction he got, Carlito is something of a superhero amongst Puerto Rican wrestling fans. Number three, the Hardy Boys. This was, oh this was good. Uh, honestly, that was the best part of this WrestleMania. I, I don't think anyone can debate me on that. You may like some other parts, but I, I think the general consensus for this particular WrestleMania, this was the best part of the show. <laughs> when they came out, I lost my shit. I was like, oh, shit. I'm shocked right now. This is unbelievable. I <laughs> the party boys are here. WrestleMania 33 saw a tag team ladder match for the Raw tag team belts between the Good Brothers, Enzo and Big Cass, and Sheamus and Cesaro. Before the match began, the hosts of that year's WrestleMania, The New Day, Fucking came out biggie. in their ring gear and declared that the match would now be a fatal four-way. But then the iconic Hardy Boys music hit, and the crowd exploded into a frenzy. It made for a genuine, unexpected moment Facts. because not only had the Hardys been away from WWE for eight years, but the night before, they'd faced the Young Bucks in a ladder match at Ring of Honor. To date, they remain the only wrestlers to have worked WrestleMania and one of the peripheral shows over WrestleMania weekend. And in true Hardy style, both were ladder matches. Number two, mm -hmm. Chris Jericho's arrival. This was a good one too. Raw is Jericho! 
That hairstyle was wild back then. <laughs> During episodes of Raw and in the Ring, and what followed was one of the greatest debuts and loudest crowd mm -hmm. reactions of all time. The lights dimmed, a silhouette of a dancing woman appeared on the Titantron, then the word Jericho flashed up to a roaring ovation. Yep. Chris Jericho had already made a name for himself as a great in-ring worker and promo guy in WCW, and WWE clearly had high hopes for him since they thrust him right into a verbal battle with the greatest mic worker yep. and biggest star they had. Jericho held his own against The Rock, and despite The Rock getting the better of the exchange by the end, Jericho went on to become a legend in his own right, mm -hmm. and it all started with an explosive crowd response that helped propel him right into superstardom. For, For sure. One stone Cold saves men. I, if Stone Cold wasn't at the top of the list, I would have been sadly disappointed. There's, there's a few clips you could have put for Stone Cold being at the top of the list. Just his returns and reactions he got when that glass broke, bruh. But this, this was this was definitely a a a, a, a just ridiculous moment, bro. It's very hard to definitively say what might have been the loudest crowd reaction of all time, but every conceivable metric points to a particularly ear-popping moment back in January 1999. On an episode of Raw, Mankind took on The Rock for the WWF Championship in a no-disqualification match. The culmination saw an all-out war between the Corporation and D-Generation X, mm -hmm. but given the Corporation's big numbers, the good guys remained outnumbered to a thunderous roar that was so loud you could barely hear Jerry Lawler's screams on commentary. If that wasn't enough, the deafening ovation could and helped him capture the WWF you probably had to cut some clips. the first yep. time. What made this crowd reaction so special <laughs> wasn't just Stone Cold's surprise return or Mankind's unexpected victory. Things wore to WCW yep. week after week. But this night marked the first time WWF drew higher ratings than its competitor mm -hmm. in 83 weeks. It signaled the rise of the Federation to the top of the pile, and it was punctuated by the biggest crowd reaction mm -hmm. in wrestling history. <laughs> That's why it takes the number one spot on that concludes our list of the loudest WWE. Yeah, he probably had to cut some stuff for WWE purposes. Unfortunately, sometimes they can be a little a little iffy with their um uh their copyright, uh how they do their copyright system. I'm gonna go ahead and like this video. Hopefully you guys do the same. Uh but that's a legendary moment. It's a legendary moment. I am okay with that being number one, but there's plenty of just crazy crowd reactions, loudest pops uh you know over wwe's many many years so if it wasn't on the list comment down below let me know what's your favorite loudest crowd reaction loudest pop of all time for you if it wasn't on this list because there's plenty of them you can choose from so comment down below let me know but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k now i'm still here in the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace